स्क्रीन विजिबल यस यस सर सो basically uh, you are familiar with the installation part of sql server and the versions yes so sir. after that we need to know about the tools whatever the different type of tools sql server have that will provide us a gui part we can when can we visualize or we can see the flow of the data or we can say the what is the activities go, going on the server mm -hmm. okay so this is a Known as SSMS. This window known as SSMS. That is SQL yes. Server Management yes. Studio. Okay. In short, we can mm -hmm. say that this is okay. totally blank, and this is a client mm -hmm. tool. We can say that this is a client tool. Mm -hmm. We have also a cl client tool command line that is SQL CMD. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can also use the different type of uh, tool in market that is DMware, or we can say that SQL Developer, or many things. Okay. Visual Studio. There are just tools. Okay, so now what SSMS uh, provide us or offer us to work on that SQL Server, so we can see in the tools. Okay, so in tools we have a profiler, database engine. Okay, mm -hmm. these two tools use for performance analysis or uh, load testing of the SQL Server. Okay. Okay. What are the queries running on? Or how can we? analyze that and how can we tune that the queries which is taking time which is taking mm -hmm. io which is taking cpu okay mm -hmm. so this is the two tools okay okay this sql server profiler and database tuning advisor but now sql server provider deprecating by microsoft right now we have a new tool that is extended events okay okay that i will show you uh, what is the extended events in monitoring part okay mm -hmm. So just uh, just for your knowledge, just you uh, uh, you know that just simply that uh, SQL profile is deprecating in new versions. Okay. Okay. Nothing else. Now we can customize this window. Okay. How? Just we have a, every tool have a option. Okay. In menu button there are options. So we can customize mm -hmm. as per our requirement. How the text editor we can say plain text or a scroll bar or tabs we can customize mm -hmm. by our own keyboards startup window tab mm -hmm. window okay mm -hmm. so how uh, we can uh, we spend our time to work on that we can familiar with these tools and their options okay. as well their okay. azure service always on so how can we uh, modify or we can see can see that all the options and we can implement in our environment okay okay this is a development basically for development things that when we going to uh, see the execution plan or query analysis uh, so mm. these are the designer so results so these are the mm. options here that is provided by microsoft management studio okay that is ssms mm. too many things i think we are going to learn each and everything that will take a uh, more than 10 to 15 days but we are not going because this is not used for dba or developer too much okay some okay. part we can customize that for the query part and the uh, uh, a plain text that we, we we can use for also a command line tool as well. We cannot go for okay. here this window. Okay. okay. So basically, the tools have two okay. tools that is profiler and database engine. Okay. And then okay. we have a window option. Next is here in view part. See uh, when we want to see the object explorer, we can press mm -hmm. F8. Uh, F8. Okay. Okay. Object Explorer in details F7. I will show you how can we check that. Okay. okay. If we go to register other server from here, we have to press Alt uh, Control Alt. Control Alt. G. So let's see here. How can we add groups here? Okay. Uh, just uh, click here for register server. Okay. So see, we get uh, another window. Okay. Oh. And then see, we have a multiple servers that I have just uh, configured previously. Okay? okay, for different different clients or different different uh, servers. Okay? okay, we can also have a CMS that is centralized management servers that is introduced in 2008. So mm -hmm. we can configure all the servers here and add here, and we can manage or monitor from a single instance only. We not need to go on. All mm -hmm. servers remotely or by loggings. Just from here, we can manage all the servers. We have to write a query. We schedule jobs. We can schedule a maintenance activity from a single click okay. from centralized management server. Okay. Okay. 
this is the option for registering local servers and we can also register for a these are two option here okay just we can create a group or register server directly so we can create group as a developer dba qa and we can say that uh, tester we can also say that so we can create a group here just uh, right click and just pass here dba servers okay just here uh, all database broad server okay and sorry okay so to see there the dba server you can create here next we can say that we can create here as a development server okay <coughs> development okay. server can add here okay so this is a type of a smart working because we are not going to connect all servers via the, this window okay? okay just click here and connect with the server okay See, just just time same sample give you the local my local server okay, okay. register mm, i can say that local host and just see that okay mm. you ask for authentication okay yeah. register server name test connection good successfully connected now save in future i'm not going to pass anything just directly connected oh. Oh. That, is easy. that will save our times or we can oh. say that uh, we can manage or monitor all these things. You don't need to pass or provide every time password here to connect. Okay. You query editor. We can also we have a multiple tools. So just see here. I'm going to show you what are the new window we can get and what are the different type of tools we have. See here is execute debug parsing. If we write any query wrongly, we can parse and check the syntax. Okay. Okay. So that is a parsing control f5 c i can write select uh, simple i show you select uh, star from sys logins okay? okay see as we are getting the underline that is totally wrong okay okay now so you parse here so get a message see okay if parsing is complete star matlab start se pehle before I start we are yeah. write uh, different word so okay. and then we can see i can parse that command completed successfully it means that the query is ever, uh, ready to execute okay use parsing okay okay see okay here okay. is that display estimated plan that is a query plan how the query is flowing you say you can see that uh, you can just uh, analyze that you are going from your uh, you are going from mumbai to uh, somewhere else and you don't have a google chart or google map mm -hmm. so how can you go there so you have to search all the possible and easy way okay so so sql server have a engine that analyze that what are the possible best optimal plan for this query how can we get data faster okay so we can see here okay how the query is going flow and what are the flow see these are the components okay so we'll see later in the optimization part okay mm. okay cluster indexes filter okay okay state loop so you can see that later what is seek and what is a scan See here, it is like writing index seek. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll see later how can we optimize the query and what are the parameters. Okay. Next is that that is a estimated, not actual. So that was just, you know now what is different between estimated and actual. Yeah. Yeah. So that is estimated plan. Maybe it is equal use this plan okay. and get the output and provide us. Okay. Mm. Then means that is a logically in considered not a physically visiting the okay. database and getting out the uh, path okay? okay then we have a actual plan okay actual plan means that how the data coming from the disk okay mm -hmm. so that plan show you actual plan and that will very uh, uh, io intensive means that when we fire this actual plan uh, so actual plan it will go through a disk and then it will provide you the flow path that is education plan okay so that, I will tell, so that will from disk and then the memory buffer and then uh, 
too many things. So I will show you the query plan, how we can see that, how the SQL server uh, working in the back end. Okay. Okay. And these are the comment and undo comment, select line. That is a, just a alignment. Okay. Okay. No need to think here. And this is a monitor. Okay. So this is an activity monitor from, you can go from here. Or we mm -hmm. also have a, here we can go for activity monitor. So just, sorry. See that activity monitor. Okay. So this is a part of monitoring. I will show in monitoring all the tabs and the, all the tools. How can we monitor SQL Server via user interface? Okay, graphical user interface. That is GUI. Okay. 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 So just uh, I think you uh, just uh, remember all these things, and we will okay. see that. Okay, and then uh, okay. just uh, prepare all missing components and remember memorize that tomorrow. Okay. We will just uh, take a QA session and then we go. Okay. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bye.